Hi all, good evening, my name is Debbie. I'm a Live For Love TV subscriber on YouTube. It's a very informative channel. So when you have a spare moment, please like, share and subscribe. Live For Love TV. Thank you. Hey, welcome back to Live For Love TV. You can see behind me, for those of you who know, this is Siracy, known as a blood cleanser, used in Ghana for malaria, used in Jamaica, just to cleanse the blood and the liver and uh, the whole track, the internal track. Very bitter for those of you who know it, but very, very good for your system. So they say, very, very good for you, seriously. There you go. Wonderful. Now, you know I speak on Live For Love TV about things that nobody else would dare address. And sometimes it causes people to get very upset and it causes people to be irate and maybe causes them not to even share the video now let me see would I change my view and my opinion if that is the case hmm let me think about it let me see if I can process that no well I've done it I've processed it and no I'm still gonna say what I have to say and I, and I I try to bring as I say subjects straight to you that may be the first time you've ever heard of it like the word intelligence have you ever heard the word of intelligence before I'm sure you have. Have you heard of the word coin, that I coin as black man intelligence? The kind of intelligence that I've tried to steer away from for most of my life. Now, I can see some people are turning, what, what does he mean by black man intelligence? What, what is this? What, what does he mean? Well, I mean, I'm going to give you an example what I call about black man intelligence. Black man's intelligence is when you're on a corner or you're in a, a, in, a, in a business or you're somewhere talking to someone in a room, in a house, and they can talk to you about everything under the sun. They can tell you about Ghana, Nigeria. They can tell you about anthropology. They can tell you about the religions of the world. They can tell you about cars and different levels of class and who did, who's this and who's that and who's been going out. They're so intelligent. You listen to them, they're so intelligent. And before you leave the room, they say, boy, give me a cigarette now. Or they say, give me a lift down here. They have actually nothing to show in their lives for all the intelligence they have. That's what I call black man intelligence. Street corner intelligence. They know everything about everything but have no change in their, in their life circumstance. And they want you to know how intelligent they are because they keep telling you every time you see them. That's the kind of intelligence that I stay away from and I've always tried to stay away from because I grew up with it. And that's why I've coined it that because it's everywhere. Everywhere you go, whether you're in Africa, the Caribbean, the UK, America, all these streets, it's, it's your huggy bear kind of, remember, remember the Starsky and Hutch, huggy bear kind of intelligence. With all these words, 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 words. But every minute he had, a, he had to take a handout from, from Starsky and Hutch because he was broke. But he was super intelligent, knew everything. This is the kind of intelligence that I tell young people to be very weary of. You need to have an intelligence that means you can move things, you can do things, you get things, you can you know, you, you're, you, you control your own destiny in life. You don't need to be begging and asking all the time for, from somebody for something. This is, this is the kind of intelligence. You've got people, as you, you may see them on YouTube, they sound super intelligent, always needing a donation. Very intelligent, so intelligent that all they need is just send me a, a cash donation, send me a donation. This, <laughs> this is how they do. It's the same thing whether they're on the street or they're on YouTube. Some of them are on radio, 20 years 30 years, 35 years, and all you hear is them telling you about the intelligence, the intellect, how clever they are, and how the white man is this, and that this is that, and the Chinese is this, and everybody's, everybody's working against the black man, and, and this is the intelligence. And when you go to these people, nothing to show for 20, 30 years of their intelligence. Not a single thing. Their women, their girlfriends, their wives expose them. Just listen to any of them. You talk to any of these people's wives, they expose them and say, this guy, he, he just talks. He's a talk. So I'm calling black men intentions that, duh, 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 that little thing that comes out of your mouth that goes nowhere else than just into the air, the atmosphere, and then disappears up into the sky. This is what I'm calling it. And this is what I'm saying that nobody else would dare speak about because they'll instantly feel like he's, he, he, he's on the enemy's side. He, well, you can say whatever you want about myself or Live For Love TV or even some of the people who comment, that may have dare to agree with what I'm saying. No problem. It's your right. But intelligence means that you go somewhere, you're doing something, and you're moving things, and you're able to change lives, your life and other people's lives. 
this is what this is what intelligence can do for you. You're not stuck, you know. Let's say for a second, you're not stuck in a dead end job with all the intelligence in the world. You're not stuck on a dead radio station talking around there, there, there. None, nothing happening on that radio station. Just you talking and giving it to the people how intelligent you are, how many books you've maybe read, and you're super intelligent. I don't care how many books you've read. What can you actually do? What do you have to show? And when, if you sit down with someone, what can you, you, if you sit down with a person, what can you show them and how to change their lives and make themselves more wealthy and richer and, and, and you know, able to change lives, as I keep saying? This is something I don't see. You don't get this from the corner man. You don't get this from the road man. You don't get any of this. Because that's the kind of intelligence they grew up with. Talk, it's, we call it talk intelligence. I call it black man intelligence. This is something that we have got to cut out. And we've got to tell uh, young people who are listening to this, you've got to listen to people and look at them and see what they're actually doing. Let's see what they're actually doing. Not what they're, you know, pontificating on, the, you know, on, on, t on YouTube, TikTok, or whatever. They talk a lot. And then all of a sudden, it's give me a donation. That's how intelligent they are. Give me a donation. They live off of donations. They live off of somebody else. They're so intelligent, they haven't been able to make any money before they come on, onto, the, onto the, the screen to tell you what you need to do. That's how intelligent they are. And if you follow them, you'll be begging just like them. Anyway, more controversy, more Live for Love TV. Take care. See you soon.